So out July 20th on Blu-ray from MVD Rewind is The Go-Go Boys, The Inside Story of Canon Films. So we're big fans of Canon Films. I love Canon Films. I know you love Canon Films too. And this is actually pretty coincidental that last episode you talked about an MVD release here on the show. And right next to I you, did. I then covered a film that was released by Canon. You did. So now we're coming full circle and we're bringing it all together, which is pretty wild. So this documentary, The Go-Go Boys, Inside Story of Canon Films, not to be confused with Electric Boogaloo, The Wild Untold Story of Canon. So this is a new documentary about these two uh, cousins that ran Canon Studios throughout the 80s and into the 90s and so on. So this release, MVD, you know, Rewind, they do, a, they do a good job. This is some reversible artwork, the little mini poster that they do, a limited edition slipcover, and like a feature or two on there. I am not a fan of, of these kinds of documentaries. Um, I'm a fan of Canon films. I could watch this and enjoy it. it it's just an advertisement. I might as well just be right. watching trailers for every Canon film that came out. Wrong answer. These types of things for me, I typically watch. I don't purchase. You're right. I probably wouldn't buy something like this. Wrong answer. The Electric Boogaloo documentary I saw had many more interviews than this one did. And I don't know, again, if what why that would be. But, I mean, they had um, Robert Forster, Toby Hooper, mm -hmm. Dolph Lundgren, Molly Ringwald, Alex Winter. No, I want to really. hear Christopher Reeve talking about losing his powers and becoming an alcoholic in, this, in the canon Superman film. <laughs> yeah, that's true. He does. He's got, like, the shakes. <laughs> canon films, I mean, for me, I, the logo is iconic. It's like crystal yeah. clear in my memory, just that, that logo coming of together course. onto the screen, and then it kind of breaks apart slowly. As soon as that came on, you knew, oh, man, I'm in for, I'm in mm -hmm. for a classic. My first introduction was probably like Cobra, definitely, over wow. the top. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, dude, Bloodsport we talked about before, Cyborg we talked about last week, and Kickboxer. Those were movies to me that I watched a lot as a kid that were all canon. Not even Masters of the Universe. Did I, I saw that. that I was just thinking that was one of my first yeah. was Masters of the Universe. Bloodsport would have been one of my first as well. Yeah, just these like trashy um, like action B-movie scripts, you know, yeah. whatever that were all... You know, yeah, but you're like right. Really it, it, if you're of a certain age, i.e., our age, uh, yeah, you get like a giddy feeling from seeing the Canon logo. Yeah, it's awesome. From, it's just that immediate feeling. You know what's great about Canon films, and I'll say this: you know what you're getting. You know, sometimes yeah. it's daunting to just put on a, like an A24 movie, and it's like, great, I'm not watching a movie. I'm putting together a fucking puzzle. Yeah. And the thing that it's it's relaxing to put on yeah. something like this. And they do a great job with the budget they've got. I mean, and look, and look at the they actors. Do. They do. Honestly. Man. Dude, their budget that they get and that the, is how a they great use it. That's point. Dude, they use For, it well. I mean, compare even Masters of the Universe. Damn, they made it work. Like, yeah. it's. And I've yeah. actually watched that not too long ago. It still works. So. I mean, they, they had a really interesting stable of actors, too. Yeah. I mean, you know, they you had, had personality. You had, had Chuck Sean. Norris. You had Sly Stallone, Charles Bronson, JCVD, Dolph Lundgren, the Barbarian Brothers. But what about the men? <laughs> You mean the Barbarian Brothers weren't manly enough for you? Do you remember that? Do you remember that? Yes, I think it was I called do. the Bar. Was it called the Barbarian Brothers the movie? I don't remember. They were called I remember the who Barbarian they are. Brothers. Yeah, and they always show, like I know who you're. I know exactly. They had their like, own movie. Yeah, dude. I don't remember that. You know, it was kind of like a ripoff, obviously, of Conan. Yeah, and and it was like, what else are they gonna do? <laughs> right. And, and those were, you know, like you said, they're fun, they're cheesy. Even that movie. The, it was, you know, super over the top. And, and they have heart. They're all fun. The yeah. heart's always on they're display. I mean, that's what, that's what, no. that's why this documentary, that's why there's an audience. That's why it's the heart. These guys put out 43 movies in one year at one point. <laughs> at one point. I was looking them, just like reading a couple of notes, just like, because they were churning them out. You know, they were buying every bottom of the barrel script you could find and trying to churn these movies out. At the apex of their career, 43 films in one year. Insane. And they were nominated a couple of movies of theirs for Academy Awards. Oh, yeah, which like, ones? Like three different ones. Yeah. I don't know them. <laughs> <laughs> Canon Films, great studio. Whether or not this documentary is any good, who knows? You'd be better off just going through their filmography and just picking out a bunch of movies to watch. All you need to know is in those films. Watch Cobra. Okay? You know, another thing watch that's cool, barbarians. I feel like Canon has a nice mix. They didn't just stick to one genre. You can find something for anyone. Yeah. Like, whatever your tastes are, link. if you want to link. That was canon. Yeah, bro. I didn't even realize that was canon. Yeah. See, exactly. If you love Elizabeth Shue and yeah. apes. Being that we have as much clout as we have, being that we have 12 subscribers now, I'm going to throw this out there. that, And I, everyone that's listening, 
all the big studios that are listening, you need to put out a collection, a Canon Films box set, 4K. It can be however many of the films you wish to choose. Give us the Canon Films set in some way, shape, or form. You won't be let down. The fans will come out in droves to get it. Russ, am I wrong? Not, no, of course you're not wrong, and I think JCVD will back you up here. On this JCVD. 